Hi, this is Fleet of My Fantastic Realistic Songwriting, and you're watching my top five chord progressions. Number five, the one in minor or major, which doesn't look like much, but there's a surprising amount of songs that actually do use this chord progression, if you even want to call it that. For example, Robin Thicke's Blurred Lines, or what you see here, Pink's uh, Get the Party Started. And a lot of metal songs and a lot of funk songs, even though they use the, the one seven, uh, so the uh, kind of dominant sound. Um, but it's a very common chord progression. You would be surprised how many songs just use one chord, really. Number four is the 6-4, which um, has a very mellow, relaxed kind of feel. And think of Red Hot Chili Peppers' Californication, uh, the verse especially. And um, since this one is very simple, uh, it's very pretty and it has a lot of color. It doesn't have a lot of direction because it doesn't have a dominant chord and the four doesn't really serve as a sop dominant in this case but it, uh, it sounds very pretty and very relaxed and I use this one a lot actually in a lot of songs especially if I want to create a mellow without sound uh, number three is the six one two five which uh, you can find in songs like Alex Clare's Too Close which is the picture that you're seeing here I know it's not very popular the song in, in America but I really love that song and I really love Alex Clare he's such a nice guy uh, and other examples would be N Nelly Furtado's uh, I'm Like a Bird or Five's Slam Dunk the Funk. And uh, there we go to number two, which is the 1564, which is, for example, used in Adele's Some, uh, Someone Like You. And um, other examples would be Ava Levine's Girlfriend or Axis of Awesome's Four Chord Song, well, which in cases a lot of other songs, obviously. Or Jason Mraz's I'm Yours. Uh, so this one is used in a lot of different um, songs, and it's it's a really great chord progression. It's actually one of the it's it is actually the most important, most popular chord progression in the world, uh, and that is because it is the, it's happy with a pinch of sadness. So it's the perfect blend between um, between major chords and that one minor chord thrown in there. And it's um, by the way, if you want to learn more about that, click this link here uh, about emotions and chords. And also, uh, it's it's really playing nicely with direction and color. So it's a really nice chord progression. And number one, this is my far favorite one by far, is is this one right here, used by Bruno Mars in Grenade or Avalavine in Complicated or Flowrider in Whistle. It's the 6415. And I want to ask you if you see something about this chord progression that strikes you as interesting. Well, if you compare it to the other one that we had before, Let's talk about chord rotations here, because this is actually kind of what I want to talk about in this video. Um, if you look at this chord progression that we just talked about, 6, 4, 1, 5, right? If we compare it to the Adele chord progression, which is 1, 5, 6, 4, you can see that it's the same chords in the same order. We just start with a different chord, right? So technically, from this simple chord progression, we can even make two more chord progressions, the 4, 1, 5, 6, and the 5, 6, 4, 1. And this is what I call chord rotations. So depending on where you start in your chord progression, you will get a different sound. If you, start if you start after the one, you get a mixolydian sound. So if you start with the five, if you start with the six, you get an aeolian sound. If you start with the four, you get a lydian sound. And if you start with the one, you get an ionian sound. Does that make sense? So you can take basically any chord progression out there and start with a different chord. So don't start with the first chord, start with the second, the third, or fourth chord, and you will have a new chord progression. And if you want to know where to start and where to find a lot of chords, you can, of course, check out my Ultimate Songwriting Toolkit, which includes 143 commercial chord progressions. So you can take any one of these chord progressions and rotate them, which will give you over 400 different chord progressions to play with. And you can download it right here by clicking on the orange button right there. Please subscribe, comment below, and check out the blog and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and um, Google Plus if you do have that, which not a lot of people seem to have. All right. Thank you for watching. Cheers.